Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn about SA36 steel. See, SA36 steel is a very popular and a very common steel used in structural application. So this is a carbon steel used for structural application. Before moving forward, I'll tell you about my website. My website is weldingandentity.com and my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash weldingandentity. And on my website and on my YouTube channel, I regularly update contents related to mechanical field. So friends, before moving forward, I will request you to please join my channel. See, you can, after subscribing my channel, you will see a join icon after subscribing my channel. And by pressing that join button or join icon and by paying a very small amount, you can become a member of my channel and you can support my initiative financially. So friends, let's start our today's video. See, SA36 steel is basically a carbon steel used for structural application. So we can say carbon steel of structural quality. So it's a carbon steel used in structural application. And SA36 and A36, both are same or both are identical specification only. See, in ASTM, we specify any material uh, by using a prefix A. So A36 is an ASTM material and when, when we write SA36, this material is given in ASME section. So both are identical. Either we can write SA36 or we can write A36. Both are identical material. Same specification. One is used in ASTM and one other one is used in ASME. Now, as I told you that carbon, uh, SA36 is also known as carbon structural steel and it is readily available in various different product forms like uh, plates, you can uh, see SA36 steel, um, uh, plates made of SA36 steel, you can see bars made up of SA36 steel, you can see various shapes like beam, channel, angles, etc used or manufactured by SA36 steel. So SA36 steels is readily available in many different form, different product forms. Now, uh, our contents, contents of today's video, video. See, in this video, we'll learn about the mechanical properties of SA36 steel. Then we'll learn about the chemical properties of SA36 steel. Then we'll learn about the equivalent, equivalent steel of SA36, which are used in or which are given in different codes. Means, uh, as I told you that ASME and ASTM materials are identical. In ASME, it is SA36 and in ASTM, it is A36. But what about other codes? So, in this video, we learn about the different specifications or different materials used in other codes, which are comparable or which are equivalent to SA36 material. And finally, we'll also learn about some of the important mechanical properties of SA36, like the density, melting point, modulus of elasticity, Young's modulus, shear modulus, and Poisson's ratio. So we'll learn about this also. So friends, we'll start with the mechanical properties. First, we'll understand the mechanical properties of SA36 steel. If you want to know from where I have taken this table, so the mechanical and chemical properties of any material can be found in ASME section 2, part A. ASME section 2, part A, you can find the mechanical and chemical properties of all the materials. So from there only I have taken the properties. So see, uh, the mechanical properties is like ultimate tensile strength, UTS. The UTS ASME 30, SA36 is between 400 megapascal to 550 megapascal. Or if you want to uh, no, in KSI, then it will be 58 KSI to 80 KSI. Friends, full form of KSI is kilo pounds per square inch and full form of MPH is mega pascal. So this is the ultimate tensile strength of SA36 material. Now, yield strength. So minimum yield strength. The minimum yield strength of any SA36 material will be 250 mega pascal. This is the minimum yield strength. Now, percentage elongation in 200 mm. So for 200 mm material, it is 20, 20% 20 elongation will be there. And for uh, 50 mm material, 
the angle elongation will be 23 21 and 23 so this 23 is for plates for plates the elongation will be 23 percent for shapes means beam channel column it will be 21 and for bars it will be 23 now we'll move to the chemical properties so chemical properties for shapes that is angle channel and beam will be for all thickness this property will be applicable this is the chemical properties for all the shapes shapes means beam channel etc so for all thickness the maximum percentage of carbon will be 0.26 the maximum percentage of phosphorus will be 0 0.04 maximum percentage of sulfur will be 0 0.05 silicon 0 0.40 maximum and copper minimum minimum percentage of copper will be 0 0.20 whenever specified for plates the chemical composition will depend or will vary on the thickness for example if thickness is less than 20 mm of any plate the maximum percentage of carbon will be 0.25 phosphorus will be 0 0.030 sulfur will be 0 0.030 Silicon will be 0 0.40 max and copper will be 0 0.20 minimum. So similarly, you can see this table and you can, uh, you will be able to understand what are the chemical properties of different uh, commodities which are manufactured of SA36 steel. Now, equivalent of SA36 steel. See, writing this word equivalent is quite misleading. We, there is not any term in uh, like equivalent in quotes. See, all material or all quotes are having material with different uh, specification, and but they are not like equivalent. They are means we can say they can be comparable. They can be comparable means broadly they can be similar, but if you uh, but they will not be absolutely equal. They will not be absolutely equal means every code have has different specification of materials and that will not be equal to the other code we can say that it is broadly equal or it is comparable to this steel so the comparable steel will be for sa36 if you will see european standard then it will be sa235 jr g2 so this can be a comparable steel if uh, for SA36 means broadly the properties of this steel and SA36 steel will be broadly not uh, fully will be broadly equal. Similarly in Canadian standard 260 W will be equivalent to SA36 for German ST37-2 for Japanese standard SS400 is equivalent to SA36 and in Indian standard SA Indian standard is IS2062, E250 steel will be equal to or will be equivalent or will be comparable to SA36 steel. Then in Chinese, you have Q235B and in ISO standards, E235 or FE360 will be equal to SA36 steel. Now friends, the other properties of A36 steel like density. So density will be density of any steel is roughly equal to 7.85 gram per centimeter cube. 7.85 gram per centimeter cube. The melting point of SA36 steel is 1425 degrees Celsius to 1538 degrees Celsius. Then the modulus is elasticity or Young's modulus of SA36 steel is 200 gigapascal. Then bulk modulus is 140 gigapascal. Shear modulus is 79.3 gigapascal and Poisson's recipe will be 0 0.260. So friends, these are the properties of the SA36 steel. Friends, I hope you like this video and I request you to please, please, please subscribe my channel. And if you have subscribed my channel, then don't forget to join my channel too. See, joining is very easy and you have to pay a very small amount of 159 rupees. That is a very, very, very small contribution from your side and it will be, it will help me a lot. So friends, with this, I will complete our today's video and I'll say you're very, very, very thank you. And I'll request you to please give your valuable feedback and suggestions for the improvement of our channel. Thank you very much.